What's good everyone, it's MJO23Dan back with another video. Today's video is going to be about my pickup in the Air Penny 2. Now this colorway was inspired by the 2011 Soul Collector version of the Penny 2 and it came in a, uh, a pack that you guys can see here. I wasn't fortunate enough to attend the event but I did attend the 2010 event that was in Santa Monica for the Comfort 11 but the Air Penny 2 was released in Las Vegas and under the Soul Collector moniker. Penny was in attendance, the color blocking of the shoe stayed the same, the Nike emblems were pretty much replaced with uh, Penny's logo or the Soul Collector logos. This one was a really neat one because uh, it's predominantly black. It has that Soul Collector inspiration and it's just totally good looking shoe. I completely don't understand why I didn't pick up any of the past Penny 2 models. Uh, I did love the Penny 1, but I uh, just didn't have any Penny 2s in my collection. You know, I guess just because being a Jordan fan, that's kind of what it did to you. And Penny Hardaway and the Orlando Magic from 94 and 95 just sucked the blood out of the Chicago Bulls that year. And it was upon Michael's return to basketball. But that's history. Regardless, this is the Air Penny 2 in a nice uh, black and royal colorway. I really dig the 3M hits. Nike basketball has kind of had my heart uh, this year. Even Nike sportswear in general, Nike. And uh, really haven't picked up any new Jordans. Um, I actually do have some pairs coming in. And uh, they're older models, but I'll be sure to do a, a review on those when I get them. But yeah, uh, black new buck on the upper. You got the uh, thin round laces of the Penny 2 in uh, that Varsity Royal and black hit. You got the Penny logo up at the top of the tongue with the nice cord pull tabs at the tongue and at the heel. Got the nice penny logo on the back with that plastic on the rear along with a Nike emblem. And then Nike Air Max 180 version at the heel. And then here's a look at the bottom. Nice carbon fiber hit. Uh, my only gripe about this shoe is that it does remind me of 2009's version of the Phylon. So you do have like dots all up on the midsole here. It's just, you know, something the factory, you know, produced. But I uh, really still dug it. Uh, I really still do like the Penny 2 and uh, that futuristic like model. On the insole there, you have a Nike Air in white and then you just regular tissue paper, no shoe tree or anything. All right. So it looks like the shoe is gonna fit true to size. I got my regular size 10, had no problems with it. Comfort was on point, excellent heel to toe transition, awesome. And that's about it with the model. Uh, really nice colorway again. I'm gonna have to go back and pick up those Atlantic Blues that I missed out on. I'm pretty sure I can get them cheap. They're still in stores and stuff, so. Uh, anyways, there's a look at the Nike Penny 2. So go ahead and like the video if you like it. If you like the content I'm push, pushing out, uh, I like to give you a lot of you know up close shots and details of the shoes. Uh, anything that I pick up, anything that I like. Subscribe if you want and share with your friends. It's MJO23Dan. Take care, guys.